All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Francis Ngannou and Junior Dos Santos. Here is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Dos Santos. Do not mistake his kindness for weakness. Sagano's UFC 10, you're truly the stuff of legends. Started the UFC career 9-0 out of the shoot. Who can forget the knockout of Fabricio Verdum in his UFC debut at UFC 90? JDS is back, and Joe seemingly better than ever. Junior Dos Santos combines aggression, accuracy, one-punch knockout power with incredible takedown defense, focus, drive, and determination. He is one of the elite heavyweights on the planet Earth. All right, so we get another look tonight at the heavyweight contender, the Predator Francis Ngannou. He got a dose of humble pie from Stipe Miocic in his first UFC heavyweight championship fight, but prevailing wisdom is that eventually Ngannou is going to be able to get back into that type of situation and fare better. He has worked very hard on the cardio at the UFC's Performance Institute, and he believes we will see that improved work beginning in this contender's matchup tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his Take down defense, land hard strikes to get the victory. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, five losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former draws the assignment here. Ready. And we are underway. Well, what a sight it is to see the Predator Francis Ngannou back inside the octagon. He is in the physical shape of his life. His words, not mine. Oh! Huge right hand! hand. Separation now. Oh, he got one appeared to stun him. He he, oh, he's a and now start to snap off that jab. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left it wow. look like it did stun him a little bit. This could be it right here. Whoa! Beautiful, accurate uppercut that got him the win. 
Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We can see it from another angle here. Here is the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Ngannou. All right, so congratulations to Francis Ngannou on another massive UFC win tonight. Very much looks the part of a guy who will one day be deemed the baddest man on the planet. Ngannou continues to chew up and spit out all comers as he ascends up this division. What a moment. What a fighter.